Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going over the Nesotros commands, or Los Mandatos in the Nesotros War. Okay, so to start out, I'm just going to go over what, in school, you probably were taught for the Nesotros command. So, if you want the other commands, it's obviously be like, eat, and it's implied that you can be talking about you, or ustedes. However, in Nesotros, you probably just see eat, and it says Nesotros, or we. What does that mean, though? Well, actually, it means let. So, for example, if you say, let's eat, and I'll explain how to conjugate this later. It just be comamos. So comamos means let's eat. Okay, so to start with the basic conjugations. So when you have an AR verb, you take out the AR ending and change it to emos. So here's some examples. Ablar would become ablemos. You take away the AR. You have abl and then emos. Tomar, tomemos. Encontrar, encontremos. Yeah, so encontremos means let's find. Like I said, they all mean let's. So this is let's speak, let's talk, let's take, let's use. So for er, it's kind of the opposite of that, essentially. You take away the ending and you add amos instead of emos. Just an a. That's literally it. So comer would become comamos, like I said up here. Beber's bebamos. Correr's coramos. Coramos. And that's let's run. Let's understand. And then for ear, it's essentially the same thing as AR, I mean as the ER version, so vivir is vivamos, escribir escribamos, recibir recibamos, etc. Okay, so going on to the negative versions, these are the affirmative, and in the negative it's just say let's not do something, so we already said correr is corramos, let's run, and let's not run is no corramos. So busear, you might know that, this is just another weird example I want to throw out there, so the way you spell busear is that. So obviously the A changes to an E, so there's a double E. So let's dive in the pool. Buseamos and not the scene. I just want to throw it out. It's kind of a weird example. And let's not dive, no buseamos. Okay, here are some exceptions. So the basic exceptions are that any verb that ends in car gardens are will be different. I'll go into that coming up soon. And then also verbs that are regular in the present tense yo form. I'll go into that too, and subsequently, verbs that have stem changes in the IR. Okay, so starting off with gar, any verb that ends in gar, castigar, conhugar, hugar, you change the ending to gemos. So for example, castigar is castigemos. You get rid of the AR and add gemos. Or you get rid of the gar and add gemos, I guess. Um, hugar is hugemos. That's probably the one you'll see most commonly. And one thing to point out is that, obviously, if Hugar has an AR here, and it's still E once you change it, it's not just a completely random thing. It's basically just you're adding on a U, and that's basically the only difference. Now with car, it changes to a Q. So, Sakar is Sakemos. Shokar to collide, Shokemos. Tokar to Kemos, and Buskar to look for, Buskemos. Yeah, and then Zar is with a C, or Semos. So, lanzar to throw, lancemos, almorzar, almorcemos, and aterrizar, aterrizemos. Yeah, so these might make a little bit more sense if you already learned the subjunctive. So, for example, you can be like, espero que no juguemos baloncesto. So, I hope that we don't play basketball. I said juguemos. So, that's the same conjugation as the mandato command here. I just wanted to point that out. And then, going back to the negative, you just put a no in front, so... Like I said here with the no karamo, just no hugemos. Or let's not search for it. Once you add the it, no lo buskemos. Yeah, so that's essentially all for the car gardens are. Okay, so now here are verbs that are regular in the present tense yo form. So like tener is tango, obviously, right? Just here is digo. Salir is salgo. So how you do it is you conjugate the, f the verb, right? You get rid of the o. And then you add emos if it's AR and almost if it's ER or IR. So it's also the same as the subjunctive conjugation in the Nesotros form. So for tener, you have tango. That's the conjugated, the present tense yo form. Get rid of the O, step two. And then you add the almost because it ended in ER originally. Tengamos, let's have. For salir, salgo, that's the present tense form. Salg, salgamos, let's leave. Right here. And the same with the negatives, it'd be no salgamos, let's not leave. Yeah, and then this here is digamos. 
Okay, so here's some irregular verbs to look out for. So if an IR verb, specifically IR, has a stem change, you would include that in the Socher's form of the command. So for example, a UE becomes U and an IE becomes I. Okay, so another example of this, I guess, is in the subjunctive and the preterite. If the preterite has a double stem change, so in the, like you see in the stem, if you learned um, a verb in the present tense, you'd see this like UE, then in the preterite, it have this U. So if the verb has that U, you'd include it in the command and the subjunctive too. So pedir has an I in the preterite, which makes it pedamos. If you didn't have the I, like if that was not right there, it'd just be pedamos, but because of that, it'd be pedamos. And then morir, would you add the U instead of the O? So muramos, the I becomes an A, muramos. Divertir, div ir tamos. Sentir, sin tamos. Then mentir, min tamos. Just something to look out for. That's very, that's more advanced, so you're probably going to be fine, but I just wanted to throw out a couple examples like that. Okay, another thing to remember is that this isn't a regular really, but just look out for this. So construir, the U-I-R, that, that makes it a Y. So yo construyo, construyamos. You get rid of the O and then you'd add the amos, but I just want to throw out that the Y is there. Verbs like destruir, destruir, it's the same way, and uir, to run away. And then... It's not really like this, but I just want to throw out Segir, because that's a UIR too, but it doesn't follow this. So, yo sigo. And that's just sigamos. Yeah, I just want to throw that. Same with consigir too. And this applies to CER verbs too, that you'd add the Z, kind of like the Y. So, producir, yo produzco. It's produzcamos. Conducir, yo conduzco. Take away the O and add the almost because that's IR, so conduscamos. It's not a regular, I just want to throw it out there. Same with conocer. I don't really know when you say let's meet or let's know, let's be familiar with. That's not really, stuff like this isn't always conversational things, but it's just good to know. And then lastly, to make it negative, you just put the no, so mentamos, let's lie, let's not lie, no mentamos. Simple. Okay, so here's some irregular verbs, and these are the subjunctive irregulars too. I just want to throw that out there, so dars demos, saber is sepamos, it's not sabamos, it's sepamos with the p. Estars estemos, ser seamos, and ver vemos. So in the negatives, here are some examples, no demos, let's not give, and in the affirmative, that just be demos, let's give. For ver, you'd say let's not see it. It's like you're talking about a movie, and someone's like, oh, I want to see um, Monsters University or something like that. You'd say, oh, I don't want to see that movie. Let's not see it. No la veamos. La pelicula. That's why it's la. Okay, so here's another weird one. It should, it's included in these, but I thought this is a, a Harvard to understand. So I just wanted to go over it. Ear and ear say. So ear is vamos. However, the negative version is not just you put a no in front. It changes. So it's no vayamos. You add this y, a. It's not no vamos. It's always vayamos. So something to look out for, definitely. And that means let's go, vamos, and let's not go. So you think let's go is vamanos. However, that's actually let's go out, technically. It technically means the same thing, but it's it's more, it's more like kind of situational. You'll, if you watch a lot of Spanish shows, you'll see what I mean, I guess. So vamanos is an ear say, the verb to leave or to go out. And so it's vamanos and no nos vayamos. So these two are the same, just this as the nos. You put there because it's reflexive. So let's go out versus let's not go out. And you have to add an the accent there. Okay. So now here's some verbs that contain other verbs. Look out for these because your teacher might try tricking you. So tener is tengamos, right? So for that has tener inside of it would therefore also be irregular. So contengamos to contain entre tener to entertain entre tengamos. Um, for example, decir digamos and then predigamos. Let's predict versus we speak. But I want to emphasize that it's digamos. It's not desamos like that different it's irregular so that's predigamos and the same with hacer hacer is agamos rehacer is reagamos because hacer is inside of it right there deshacer to undo desagamos let's undo 
And this is a weird one, Sadis Fasser, but Sadis Fasser, Aser, Aser. I don't know if you see the connection there, the correlation, but that is Sadis Fagamos, even though it does not have Aser inside of it, it still sounds the same, so that also is irregular. Speaking of irregular here, reflexive verbs, and these are these are pretty difficult to understand. And the way you do these are eminos and ominoses, I guess. So for the AR verbs, you take the yo form, get rid of the yo. And the reflexive metesenos os or se. And you add eminos. So for example, sepi arse, right? That in the yo form is mesepiu in the present tense. Now you take away the O and the reflexive part, so the me goes by, and same with the O, it's sepi, sepi. And then you add the eminos, so sepi eminos. Let's brush our teeth, I guess. And here's another one, duchar, say, so duchemenos. And then the negative version, you'd add nos, and then make it back in the version as if it was not reflexive. So duchar by itself, not duchar, say is duchemos, and then no duchemos. So in the negative, you make it no nos duchemos. For erir, it's essentially the same thing, just with ominos. So meterse, that'd be memeto, met, and metominos. So here's ponerse, which is another irregular, but I'm gonna go over it now anyway. So that's pongominos. And then you'd add the, so you'd go back to the normal ponair's negative form, and then you'd add the no, so no, no, pongamos. And for other verbs with the stem change, like we talked about before, up here, right there, you would, or I'll show you what you do. So marir would be muramos, and then marir se, the reflexive version is muramanos. Sentir is sintamos, sentir se sintamanos. So you keep the I, you keep the U. Even though it's reflective, it doesn't affect it, really. Okay, and one of the last things I want to go over is a direct and indirect object pronoun. So those are like the lo, la, los, los, me, te, le, nos, os, les. And how that works, I guess, is you'd say like agamos, lo. So obviously agamos means let's do. Hacer, agamos. But if you want to do let's do it, agamos, lo. And if you want to say let's not do it, if you take away the it, it just be no agamos. But when you add the it, you wouldn't put it at the end, you'd move it up here in front, so no lo agamos. Let's not do it. So digamos less, less is them, let's tell them. You have to add in the accent. Oh yeah, that's another thing. You have to add in an accent once it's um in the once it has the direct or indirect object. So the less is at the end here, but in the negative form, less is pulled up to the front, so let's not tell them. Here's an example sentence, I guess. So, oh, hay una manzana, comamos la. That's oh, there's an apple, let's eat it. La representing la manzana. Oh, hay una manzana, no me gusta las manzanas, no la comamos. This is the negative form. So, oh, there's an apple, I don't like apples, let's not eat it. You bring the la in front. And this has the accent over there, but the negative form does not. Okay, last thing I wanted to add on is that there's another way to do all of this much more simple than the command. You don't have to, but another way to say let's is just vamos a and then the infinitive, so vamos a correr. Let's run. It can also mean we go run, but another way to interpret it is let's run. Corramos or vamos a correr. So vamos a in the infinitive is correr. I just want to throw it out there that Essentially, you don't have to do all of this, but yeah, that's just another thing to look out for. Okay, so that's it for the Nesotros command form. See ya.